What's going on, guys? Christian Belay here with the Denver Nosebleeds. Yes, I have a mustache now, and uh, I don't think it looks too bad, but that's uh, that's just me. Um, we'll see how long this lasts for. But the Avs get a big win tonight against the New York Islanders. They win 7-4. to four. I know I got the score wrong on the first Johansson empty net goal, but the Avs get the win. Before we go any further, this post is brought to you by our friends over at Clutch Bet. The over hit today, there were 11 goals scored in this game. Absolutely ridiculous amount of goals scored. It was boosted to plus 200 tonight for the Avs. So make sure you go download the Clutch Bet Sportsbook app. Use promo code Nosebleeds. Get some free bets on me. But let's get into this game. It got started. The Avs were dominating the Islanders for a majority of this first period. I thought they looked really good. Ryan Johansson scores another power play goal. He's looked very, very good uh, so far in that bumper roll on the power play. And he got his first of two goals tonight. Uh, and then Cal Clutterbuck scores in the deflection. Not much Georgiev can do there. I, I, I mean... It wasn't Georgiev's best game. We'll get into that a little bit later with a goalie allowed in the third period. But then uh, Kale McCarr um, just undressed the Islanders' defense tonight. I mean, Kale McCarr was unreal tonight. He goes, beats Sorokin short side on the backhand, give the Avs a 2-1 lead going into the second period. In the second period, the Islanders responded. I thought they played a really good period. They scored back-to-back -back goals, take a 3-2 lead. The Avs were kind of on their heels. I thought it was going to be another one of those Avs games where... The Avs played really well and they were going to lose, but this team just kept on battling. And I'm wearing his jersey tonight, Bo Byram. He'd been struggling for a majority of this year, but he unleashes an absolute howitzer of a shot to beat Sorokin to tie the game at three. Good for Bo to get on the board. Hopefully that can get him going a lot more because we need more Bo Byram like we saw tonight. Uh, and then like 20 seconds later, Nathan McKinnon just absolutely roofs one past Sorokin, give the Avs a 4-3 lead going into the third period. I mean, that's just how quick this team can do it. They are super fast. They are super, uh, really good offensively. So I was really happy to take a 4 through lead going into the second period. In the third period, I thought the Avs did really good in that third period. But uh, Georgi Falau was just an absolute softy to Anders Lee to make it 4-4. Four to four. Um, Like I said, wasn't Georgiev's best game tonight. He He didn't have what he's had in the previous five starts maybe a rest is needed for him just give him a day off I don't know if it's going to happen against Pittsburgh but I imagine it's going to happen somewhat on this road trip uh, and then Thomas Tatar makes a great a great play sets up Miko Ranton and the Avs take a 5-4 lead that's the eventual game-winning goal and then Thomas Tatar he does some good and then he does some bad uh, he takes two penalties in one play takes a, a tripping penalty and then a high stick luckily Matt Barzell boards Andrew Cogliano Poor Cagliano, man. He just can't catch a break when it comes to getting boarded. Uh, that really helped kill two minutes of that power play for the Islanders. And then the Avs were able to score an empty net goal with Ryan Johansson. And then Ross Colton gets his very first of the year on one where he doesn't even touch the puck. It just so happens that it, it's going to get credited to Ross Colton. And the Avs end up skating away with a 7-4 to four victory. They set an NHL record for most consecutive wins on the road with 15 in the regular season. That is crazy to think about. Uh, this team's better on the road than they are at home, which is... Awesome. And if they can get back to where they were home-wise a couple years ago, this team is going to be very, very dangerous. The Avs moved to 6-0 on the year. Very happy about it. We'll get a day off, and then we'll go play Pittsburgh, who got their asses kicked by Dallas tonight. So we'll have to see how Pittsburgh responds. But I'm going to enjoy this win, and uh, I'll catch you all on Thursday. But until then, let's go Avs, baby.